Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about how to API leads from a client CRM over to high level. Let's dive in. Okay, so if you haven't heard about what we do over here at Flexible, before we dive into the API stuff, let me give you a brief explainer, right? So our offer to our clients is we say, have you got any old leads? If they have, then we say, we're gonna convert those old leads into sales using ChatGPT and, and SMS. What happens is they send us a CSV file or they API their leads from their CRM over to our high-level platform, which is what we're explaining today. And once they hit our high-level platform, we use SMS and AI to go back and forth and book appointments and make sales and we get paid on a performance basis. It's a great offer, it sells like crazy and the results are incredible. And the better thing is that AI does all of the work. One thing that we do get a lot of questions for in our community is about how if you land that client and they're ready to go, sometimes a CSV file is a little bit of a um, headache. Um, and there's data protection stuff around that that we don't like getting involved in. So what we do is we can say you can API them across from your CRM over to our CRM. And this also helps if we want to get fresh leads, right? So a lot of the times clients are generating a lot of leads themselves on a daily basis. They work those leads for you know, a couple of days and then after 24 or 48 hours, we can say API them over to us and we'll convert them for you where your sales team has failed, okay? So the API element of what I'm talking about here is super important. I'm not a tech guy, but my tech guy, Graham, is definitely a tech guy and I'm gonna hand you over to him, enjoy. Hey guys, and thanks Dan. Um, so welcome to this video on how to basically get your clients to API their leads into your high level rather than using a CSV. Um, so obviously you, you want to select your account that you want it to go into um, and then you want to set up the API basically just to make sure that it's all working before you send the uh, the posting document to your client. Okay, now here's what my posting document would look like. You can pop this into a good Google Sheet. If, if you want this um, actual document, then do a comment below and I'll send it over to you. So basically I'm just going to talk you through this now. So what this is. Um, so you want to give them this URL, posting URL, uh, that basically posts in a contact into your high level uh, sub account. So we need that. Then you want to make sure to give them the API key. Um, now you want to make sure to let them know that it's an authorization key, which is basically, so it can be multiple different things. So sometimes API keys are called API underscore key, but with high level, it has to be called authorization as um, the field name. And then the API key, you have to always write in bearer space, then you paste in your API key from uh, the business profile section, uh, which is here. So you just copy that and you paste that in there. And you have to send that to, to them so they can paste your their leads into your system. And in the header, you wanna make sure that it says content type, like that, exactly like that. Um, and that is application JSON. This is, this is basically telling the client what language your system speaks a lot, what high level speaks, and it, it will speak JSON. Um, then in the body, you want to send them this. Um, on this side, these are the high level fields. So these are your high level fields that you want to map. So they need to they need to know these fields and then they need to write these fields into their um, into this a a API exactly like this. And then they'll need to add their own fields. So they'll need to map their email fields. Now you can't do that for them. That's something they're going to have to do. Um, but it's good to have a little prompt there. So you'll want to have their email field mapped in to here, their phone field, first name, da 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 da, da, da. Um, So that's that. And then also you come down, you can add in tags as well. If you want to add multiple tags, you can just put, put a little um, comma there, press enter. Um, and you could just do something like this. Uh, DBR lead. Oh, it's not... Um, so you can tag them as the client name that's sending them through in, in case you're having multiple, um, you know, clients sending you leads for some reason. Um, and you can put DBR lead as well, which will need to be uh, tagged there like that. Then your source. So you can put in the source um, client APIs or whatever the client's name is. Just put a a API just so you know where the lead came from. Um, and then you can add in custom fields. You can add as many as you want. Uh, important to note, if you add on more, you always have to do a um, a comma, and then when you add in a new one, you want to map the field from high level, and you can find these here, 
And the way to know your fields are your custom fields. You just take take off contact dot and you just do the call underscore back time. So for example, these custom fields, you've got custom underscore field underscore one. And that's how I've done that one. Now I don't have a, a three, I'm just showing you. But if I was gonna do that, um, it would be like this custom underscore field underscore three. And then that's custom data three. Oh, and but on the last one, there's no comma. Remember that there's no comma on the last one. Um, so we'll delete that out for the time being. So that's basically the body of the um, API. So what the way I test this just to make sure it's working is uh, I go to Postman, something called Postman. Now you want to open up your own Postman account. Uh, it's free, so don't worry about that. And once you've created your account, you'll you'll be able to come into your dashboard here. And here you can go test all different webhooks and APIs. So you want to change this to post. Um, and then you want to go to your posting document. And you want to just copy the posting URL uh, into here. Like so. Then you want to go back and you want to um, just copy application forward slash JSON. You want to go to headers. This should always be in headers, this bit. No, no matter where you're sending it from, it should be in headers. They should know that if they're um, if they've got a uh, kind of a tech team on hand. You just paste in application JSON. I think it does. There we go. So you want to select that. So that's all good. Then you want to add in your authorization. So this is looks like this. This is your a a API key. Authorization. Then you want to just type in bearer space then you want to go to your high level you want to go to your business profile and then you want to go and just copy your api key for that sub account that you want them to post the leads into and then you just uh, post it here okay so once that's done um you've got that you've got that then you want to go to body now the way to test it uh, i like doing it raw uh, when I've got this high level, it's so much easier to do it with high level because if you don't do it raw, um, the custom you struggle to get the custom fields in. So I like doing it in the raw format, which is basically this kind of code. So I'm going to copy this across, uh, and I'm going to uh, post it in here, and then to post uh, a full test, you will need a kind of a normal a normal email. Uh, there we go. One second. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, you'll need a, uh, a phone number in there as well. So, like so. Let's just put in normal things. So let's go test. Uh, last name. Connolly. Uh, address field. Let's pop in 23 Sunset Boulevard. City, let's pop in Los, An Los Angeles. Uh, state field, let's do Cali. Um, and then country field, let's do uh, US. So for example, sometimes if, you've, if, if your um, client is just in, the, just in the States, you can amend this posting doc just to be a static. So you could just go uh, United States, like, like so. So you know it's a static field, um, but we'll leave that there. Um, so that's that, and then postal code, pop in um, 90210, leave the tags as they are, you can leave the source as they are, and then custom data one, custom data two. That should all be good. Um, if there's certain ways you need um, the data formatted it's important to let them know that as well so obviously it's not in this document but for example country um in high level you need to put the united states as us otherwise it, it won't recognize united states it has to be us um for example united kingdom you have to write in united kingdom um and you can find this out this is how i find out how to write them and you may need to let them know if you're doing it across multiple countries. If we go into one of these leads that we got here. 
scroll down, you want to find the country in here. So, for example, if I go down to uh, you, so for some reason, you have to put in US. If you put in United States, I don't think it would change it to United States. Um, and UK is UK. Um, okay. So let's have a look if this works. So let's let, let's try it like this. Uh, I'm going to press send. And then you should get a 200. So status 200 OK means that it's gone through OK. It will show you what it's posted in. So you can see what it's posted in. So let's go have a look what's came in now. So, so it's important to test this. And with the client, you want to test it as well. They'll, they'll have to send a few test leads in to make sure that you're capturing every single bit of data that you need. So we've got a first name and last names come in. Emails come in. Phones come in. Client sources come in. Uh, we've got the street address. We've got uh, city. United States has come in, which is good. So the US worked on that one. Um, so that obviously works normally. Let's just um, I'll have a look in a sec. State, California, CA, postal code 90210. So that's all come in perfectly. And then the custom field data has come in as well. Okay, and the two tags, client name and DBR lead. So that is all working perfectly. So you want to make sure every single bit of data has come through on your test. Once you've got it correct, then you want to go back to your client, send them, send them the posting doc, um, uh, and make sure that that is all good. You can add on extra fields. Um, I just want to check one thing. I'm just going to go and delete this out and add it again. Let's have a look. Okay, let's wait till it goes. Let's refresh. Da 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 da. Should be good. I'm just going to press send again. And then refresh. That should be in there. And we'll just see if that's amended it correctly as well. It should have done. There we go. Just want to double check that that's come through as the United States as well. Yeah, it has. Cool. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, that's basically um, how you would do it. Um, and then you would uh, send it across and give them that information. Um, the main ones you're going to want are email, phone, first name, last name. If you are going to want to amend this and you don't need address, city, state, country, postal code, all you have to do is just delete that out like that. And this will work fine as well. Uh, just remember the last line does not have a comma next to it. Every single other line does. So if it, if a lot if a line starts with this, ignore it. It's any any of these data fields needs a comma after it if um, it's followed by another bit of data. So for example, if I took out this, if we took out, if we only wanted one tag, you do not want that comma in there. And normally Postman will highlight things that are wrong. So for example, you can see that it's if you hover over it, it will say um, trailing comma. You don't need that. Get that out. It'll go away, and that's perfect. That's why Postman is quite a good place to test stuff in uh, because it will tell you where things possibly are going wrong so you don't have to go hunt around for something. Um, and also it gives you colour. So everything should be, um, what's it called? Red on this side, blue on this side. If we affected something, so look, it's come up there. So that's basically saying that I probably need a tag now, uh, need a comma, so expected comma. So you've got to make sure that's in there. Say, for example, you had... Um, so that was a bad example uh, here so you can see something's broken so if you're looking at here and there's red, blue, red, blue, red, blue that's all good something's broken around here because everything's then turned to black and it's because you've got the wrong um, speech mark there so that should fix everything and goes back to red and blue so guys a API is a bit complicated if you haven't done it before um, hopefully you can play around in the postman do what I've done, send a few leads through, start to understand how this all works. Again, if you want to add a new tag, comma, enter. You've got the two um, speech bubbles, just type in your tag and that's done. Uh, if you want to add another custom field or more custom fields, always do a comma after on the second to last one. 
and then just type in your new custom field. And I've shown you where to get that data for the custom field. And then like so, no comma on the last one, remember that. And yeah, you send it across, they map it, they, they map their fields into this, this, this section here. This is where their fields go. Um, and then you want to make sure that they're sending through a few test leads to you um, so you can make sure every single data comes through and make sure every data point is coming through. You don't want to miss anything. OK, sometimes it may need to be formatted in a certain way. And if that's the case, then you, you need to get back to them. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully that helps. Thanks a lot for, for listening uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Graham. I hope you've enjoyed this video with him. I hope it's given you all the tools and instructions that you need to make this work. If you have any questions, please comment below. I did mention at the start of this video about our offer and why it's so sexy for clients, why it works so well, and how you can get AI to do all the work for you. If you do want to know more about that, there's a link below as well in the description box which talks about the Prince Charming Challenge. Prince Charming because we wake up old databases. So if you want to check that out, please do. It's really good stuff. It's in the description box. Um, I guess I'll speak to you soon. Take care.